Hi, this is JC, and this is JC Crowell Draws. This project is the first in our series for alphabet art. Today we're going to create an illuminated letter A. If you have a computer, it'll help you draw a big letter quickly and easily. However, if you don't, you can always just draw this letter by hand. But if you have a computer, let's open up a word processor. When you go to type your letter A, you're going to want to use a blocky font. You could actually use whatever font you want to, but a blocky font makes it easy to fill in with lots of fun doodles. So, I prefer Arial Black, and when you go to make the letter, you're going to make it as big as you can, but not so big that it runs off the paper. From there, we're going to print it out and trace over that letter using another piece of paper. So, create your giant letter A, whatever font you like, I like Arial Black again, and then let's go ahead and save that so that we can print it. All right, and we're printing, we're printing out the letter A, print, 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 perfect. For supplies today, you're going to need your printed out letter, some painter's tape that's very important, masking tape, a pencil, a pen, and a blank sheet of paper. You're also going to need permission. The reason you need permission is that we're going to be using a window as a light box. Now, if you have access to a light box, or you have access to a computer screen, you also want to make sure you get permission for either of those. You could put the paper right on the computer screen, or put these papers on the light box, but today, we're going to use the window so that we can get a nice view of the outside. So carefully, take the painter's tape, the masking tape, and tape your letter A to the window. Then, you're going to tape your blank paper on top of that. This is going to give us a silhouette to use as a guide that we can then draw all of our doodles inside of. Then, once you have your papers taped to the window, you're going to pick up your pencil and carefully press on the paper. Do not press too hard or else you might hurt yourself or break a window and owe people money. And that won't be as fun as this art project. When you're ready to start drawing, you're going to draw inside the outline of the letter. The shape under our blank paper of our printed off A creates a nice boundary. It creates this grayed out area that we are only going to draw inside of. We're not going to draw on the white white of the paper. I'm going to start drawing my favorite thing in the whole wide world, which is donuts. Now, donuts does not start with the letter A. Everything else I'm going to draw for this project is going to start with the letter A, but I'm going to ask you to start with the first thing that you draw to be something that you love, whatever it is. It'll help get your brain and your heart warmed up to create this project. So for me, I love donuts, and I can't eat them that often, but I can draw them as much as I want to. So I'm going to draw a donut to start my project. After you draw your favorite thing in the whole universe, we're going to start drawing objects, animals, whatever, that starts with the letter. As I draw in pencil, I'm gonna have you try to guess what I am drawing. Now remember, everything that I'm going to draw in pencil is going to start with the letter A. If you're not quite sure what it is, it might look a little bit better once I move on to a marker. However, for now, gather up your friends and try to guess, what am I drawing? This is a little more detailed. Um, I, it looks like a pine cone, but pine cone doesn't start with A, it starts with P. I wonder what could it be? This is one of my favorite things in the whole universe that starts with the letter A. However, I'll never really get to let them know how much I love them because you, you shouldn't get close to them. They'll, they'll eat you.
I recognize this. You usually see them on boats, but boats start with B. What is this? Start with it starts with an A, so then it's a part of a boat. I wonder what it is. All right, I've seen these before. Yep, that's definitely that. That's that. Everything in this letter starts with the letter A. And notice, I'm not going outside the boundaries of our printed off letter. I'm staying just inside the dark grayed out area of our letter A. definitely seen one of those before. Yep, that's definitely that. seen these before. were in a lot of old cartoons. I wonder what ever happened to them. Now as 
we start to finish filling in the area of our letter, you're gonna notice there are some gaps that maybe don't quite hold the boundaries, the perimeter, the outline of our letter to its true shape. So, try to find some doodle or drawing that you did that's pretty small, that doesn't take up too much space, and repeat that drawing over and over again. You can see here with this one little critter, I'm drawing them over and over to help fill in those gaps. Also, to help mark the edge of our letter A so that when I take the printed off letter behind it away, it's going to look just like my outlined letter. Alright, and once we're done doodling in pencil, you can go ahead and remove the printed off letter. And now, pick up your marker, and we're going to start outlining our pencil lines. This is really going to make it stand out and make it look like a nice finished art project. Alright, now let's reveal what I drew for our art project. So I started with ants. You can see that I actually started with one ant and then used plural, that still starts with A, ants, to fill in all the rest of my picture. I then drew a fish, but fish doesn't start with A, it starts with F, but I drew a specific fish, an anchovy. I then had a donut. Again, donut doesn't start with A, but I love donuts, so I'm going to draw a donut. What did you draw for your personal touch added to your alphabet art project? I then drew an apple, a pretty happy apple, if I do say so myself, and we have the continent of Africa. I then drew an antelope with antlers. I tried to go for that alliteration, a double A there. I then drew some asparagus. That's a vegetable that I love. I didn't love it when I was younger, but I love it a lot now. Then I added an arrow. Next we have an acorn. Who guessed acorn? Good job. In the back. Good job. And next it's not a pine cone, it's an artichoke. I do love cooked artichoke, but I have no idea how to cook it. I've tried to cook it, I need someone to show me how to cook it properly. I wonder where I could go to find out how to learn something new without a person in front of me. Then we have an airplane, a pretty happy airplane. And an avocado, again, a pretty happy avocado. It actually might look a little bit more like a hatchet, but we're going to call it an axe for now. And then, one of my favorites, the alligator. Again, alligators are amazing, they're really cool, but don't, don't go near one. Unless you're drawing, then you can get near it. Not the actual alligator, you're drawing. Don't get near the actual alligator. You can go near your drawing of an alligator. Astronauts are pretty cool. Almost as cool as alligators. an 
我们。And then we have, well, it's it's an armadillo. It's an armadillo trying to curl into a ball. And then we have an amulet. For all those D and D nerds out there. And then of course an anchor. In case you're a pirate. You might need one of these. And then we have an anvil. In old cartoons, they were always dropping them on people. You should not do that. And then finally, we have an alpaca. You might have thought it was a llama. It's very similar to a llama, but they are alpacas. When you are done doodling, carefully remove your paper from the window, and then you will have this amazing, this artistic, this illuminated letter 